Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. By default, your iPhone normally requires your Apple ID password before you can proceed with a reset. But what if you already forgot it? In this video, I will show you how to reset your iPhone to factory defaults even without your Apple ID password. Let's go. Before you begin, there are some important points to remember. If your iPhone runs on iOS 17.3 or newer version, the Stolen Device Protection feature must be deactivated. Otherwise, you'll need to use Face ID or Touch ID to change your Apple ID password, reset your iPhone, or perform other actions. It also has no passcode alternative or fallback. First, let's reset your iPhone directly from the Settings app using your passcode. What's great about this method is that you don't need a computer or any extra software. Of course, this should only work if you remember your device passcode and haven't forgotten it along with your Apple ID password. If so, you can skip to the next timestamps to try other methods. To start, navigate to the General Settings menu and scroll to Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Erase All Content and Settings and enter your device passcode to confirm access. When prompted for your Apple ID password, tap Forgot Password and enter your device passcode to create a new one. Once you've updated your account, return to Reset and enter the new password. If you can't remember your device passcode either, another way to reset your iPhone is to use iTunes if you're on Windows or the Finder app on a Mac. Before you start, note that this only works if Find My is already turned off on your iPhone. Otherwise, skip to the next timestamp because you can't disable Find My without entering your Apple ID password. To begin, run the appropriate tool on your computer, which in my case is iTunes. Next, connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or MFI certified cable to establish a reliable connection between the two devices. After connecting, put your iPhone into recovery mode to start the reset. For iPhone 8 or newer models, including iPhone SE second generation, follow these steps. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then hold press the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus models. Press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons and release them when the recovery mode screen appears. With iPhone 6S or earlier models, including iPhone SE first generation, press and hold both the home and top or side buttons at the same time. Keep holding them until the recovery mode screen is displayed. When your device enters recovery mode, click Restore and Update when prompted in the iTunes or Finder dashboard. Wait for the tool to finish restoring, and then your iPhone should restart and be ready to set up. If the previous methods didn't work, your next option is to use a third-party tool to bypass the Apple ID password requirement to reset your iPhone. Personally, I'd like to use a specific software for common iOS issues. If you're interested, check out the link in the description or click the tag in the upper right corner. Before you install the software, please note that the trial version is limited and primarily intended to test compatibility with your iPhone. A subscription is required to unlock all features. Upon installing the program, launch it and connect your iPhone to your computer via cable. From the dashboard, select Reset iDevices and choose between Standard or Hard Reset. Since you forgot your Apple ID password, choose Hard Reset and download the necessary firmware for your device. After downloading the firmware, click Start Hard Reset and wait for the software to reset your iPhone. Okay, if I've been able to assist you, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you enjoy taking photos and videos with your iPhone, please visit my website. Over the last few months, I've created a video course where I've gathered the best tips and tricks on how to make the most out of your iPhone for photography. You'll find the link to the website in the video description. Until next time, bye!